DIY tote bag tutorial, your ultimate guide to crafting the perfect carry-all. For this tutorial we will need some fabric, measuring tape, scissors and sewing machine. I have already cut the fabric so for the actual tote back we need so it is a whole piece. But if you have a smaller material, don't worry, you can just add another edge at the bottom. So here I have folded it and we are going to sew only from the side. But if you don't have the continued fabric, you can put uh, a seam here as well. So this measuring uh, is 15 inch across and 34 inch long and then you fold it in two then we measure four inches from the two edges and this is where we'll put the handles and uh, for the handles we need two straps of fabric which is 28 and a half inches long and um, 2 inches and 3 eighths width I will put this uh, in centimeters as well and in inches and it is a very quick project um, I'm going to get uh, my serger out and I'm going to sew from the sides and then I'll add I'll show you how to add the handles. If you don't have serger, sewing machine is fine. I suppose if you don't have sewing machine, you can do it by hand. But this tutorial will be with the sewing machine and serger.
okay as I said as I do have serger I'm going to make uh, the use of it to make nice edges like that nice and clean edges but don't worry if you do not have if you have a sewing machine just use the zigzag here on the side so it doesn't fray uh, and then a normal stitch um, you can do it without So as we have our own branding, I am always putting my branding in, so roughly, so this will go a little bit folded and then again folded, so I may put it somewhere here on the top, but you can decide where yours can go. just spin it and just to remind you always to check what when you use different fabric if the stitching is good this is what I've tried I like it so I'm going ahead at the moment I'm with one needle so I will go after that and do another sewing on the machine but if you have two needles you can have all four of the reels on it but I will show you what I'll do later if you are on the just on the sewing machine so now we have the toad back folded in two with the folding at the bottom Make sure you remove the needle before you continue. let attach the handles so um, this is the inner bit and this is the front so we'll take the handles and we've already marked four inches from the edge so what I'll do put it there And then make sure that the handle is nice and straight and then we do the other side then we'll do the, the other side
if you're doing only on the sewing machine you can just do the edges here but as I'm going to make it nice and tidy with the serger I'll do it this way so now we're going to go around and I'm not going to put this in as I'm going to go over it but I'll show you for this edge I will uh, hide it in here so it doesn't get them done Let me show you how I do that. So it doesn't matter which side you need a needle which can go through. this I will do this and this well Now we will move on to sew the, the side, as I mentioned I had only one, one of the needles on the serger with three threads, so I'm going to strengthen this back, because look how it is, it's not so I'm going to have another stitch, just from a uh, normal straight stitch, which if you didn't have a surgery, you would have done it anyway with the sewing machine. And then this bit would have been a zigzag.
just going to do all around the tote bag and when I get to the handles you will see what I'll do I will go this way up across down and then again just to secure it Now we have completed our tote bag. We turn it the right way up. If you want, you can iron it. So there are a few things which we can cut. I will iron it to make it nicely crispy and here's our tote bag Now we have completed our uh, DIY tote bag. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Look how pretty this bag is. And I just want to give you a little heads up. If you wanted to know how to personalize your tote bag, stay tuned as we are planning to personalize this one with hand embroidery and um, we will show you how i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe